Hi, Sandy Solis here, prophetic novelist, author of Spirit Wings book series. Today we're doing <clears throat> a series on the language of the spirit, and this would be considered episode one. So we're going to lay some groundwork, some foundations. Uh, the prophetic doesn't have to be difficult or hard to understand. <clears throat> so we're going to lay some foundations and take the mystic scariness that some may feel about the prophetic. The first thing, of course, we need to uh, establish that you have a relationship with the Godhead, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. These three are one, the Trinity. So some people, uh, they trip on that. Three, as there are three gods, no, there's one God. Some relate to it as uh, water, steam, and ice, and some people get offended by that analogy. Um, but it, it is uh, something that we need to accept by faith and um, as we grow, we'll get a deeper understanding of the Godhead of, of these three. So we're going to talk about them a little bit today uh, as we're focusing on the language of the Spirit. So we're going to focus on the Holy Spirit's role to understand spiritual understanding, revelation, as we would call it. Yeshua Jesus is the door. So a door, obviously, is the language of the Spirit. Um, it's symbolic. It has meaning. It has uh multiple layers of understanding. So let's look at John 16, John 14, 6. Jesus said unto them, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. So here's, we're looking at the Trinity as well. And uh, Jesus is the truth. So uh, we're looking for the truth. We don't want to be deceived when we're dealing with, with the language of the Spirit, interpreting dreams, understanding the times and seasons. Um, so Yeshua Jesus is the truth and the life. And he gives us interest, entrance into the um, authority of the Father. John 16, 13. Howbeit, when the Spirit of truth is come, okay, Holy Spirit time, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak of himself, but what soever he hears, that will he speak, and he will show you things to come. That's the spirit of truth, the Holy Spirit. We need that in our lives, him in our lives. He is a person, uh, not just a, a force. Uh, we're talking relationships here. Uh, if you don't have the relationship, you have no connection, there's no flow, there's no interaction, there's no conversation, there's no revelation, there's only facts and dry religion and so we want to avoid that we want to avoid that spirit of religion uh, in our lives we want a living relationship next verse is john 15 26 talking about the holy spirit now when the comforter is come whom i will send to you from the father even the spirit of truth which proceeds from the father he will testify of me so this is, would be a red letter uh, this is Yeshua Jesus talking. The comforter, language of the Spirit. I like home interior decorating. Comforter, I automatically think of my linen comforter on my uh, bed right now. And when you wrap up in that comforter, and when you think of someone is grieving that they need the comforter and the comfort and the warmth when you're all cuddled up in something in the middle of winter. So language of the Spirit, the comforter, when the Spirit... Uh, but when the Comforter is come, whom I will send. So he has come, and we have access to the Holy Spirit. We have access to the Father. We have access to Yeshua. Um, it helps to know who to go to for what, especially if you're just starting your daily pray, prayer life, which I have some uh, podcasts on that. So you go to the Father with petitions. Okay, so here's all three are active. We can relate to the Father as the one who sent the Son, who sent the Holy Spirit. Uh, if you, it would be good to check out all the names of uh, Jehovah. It's actually Yehovah. There's no J in, in the Hebrew. Um, Yehovah Yaira, Yehovah Nisi. There's a lot of those to know and understand the depth of the Father. Um, and so when you talk to him respectfully, you can understand his immenseness, but also his love and compassion for us and his desire to have that relationship. So that's the language of the Spirit, understanding the Father. Okay, we're, we're going to look at Isaiah 57, 15. For thus saith the high and lofty one, 
that inhabits eternity, whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place. With him also, that is of a contrite and humble spirit, to revive the spirit of the humble and to revive the heart of the contrite ones. So even uh, those that are not saved, the Lord hears the humble, those that are contrite, that are crying out to him, God save me, God have mercy. That's our father. He is also a judge. He's a righteous judge, but he is also merciful. His mercy is renewed every morning. I'll have to look up that scripture and put it in there for you. Okay, moving on. So the father of the universe sent his perfect son so we could have a relationship, eternal life. And he fills us with his Holy Spirit. And the spirit dwells in us like living water. That scripture is John 7, 38. He that believes on me, as the scripture says, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. More language of the spirit here. Uh, living water as opposed to water that does not bring life that's sterile and blah. Um, yeah, once you've had living water, you can never go back. Once you've experienced peace in your life, you want to maintain that peace. And that peace comes from understanding the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and how you fit in, in this time right now that we're in. So the relationship is necessary. Getting rooted in the Word is a basic got to do that you got to get the word in you if his word dwells in you you can ask what you will and you'll have it of the father so the word the word that's yeshua jesus that's another language of the spirit yeshua is the word um, and we need to be mature in our faith so we need to grow up uh, and these are goals things that we should all desire to have and do uh, i'm 64 presently I was saved at seven, and I really, when I got, got about 20, I really got a hunger for the Lord and began to delve into the scriptures and grow up in the Lord, in my walk with the Lord. So the key words for today is Yeshua Jesus is the door, language of the Spirit. The Holy Spirit can be living water flowing out of your, your belly, out of your inner core, um, and that he is our comforter, and that the Father is the high and lofty one. So this is the language of the Spirit. It's beautiful, it's wonderful, and we can know all three of these uh, of the Trinity, of one God, and understand how we fit in the world. So welcome to the language of the Spirit. We'll see you next time.